Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about what happened with the market yesterday and why an Icon SBC, the first Icon upgrade pack that we've had in a long time, is crashing this market across the whole board, right? A lot of cards are down. The SBC content is flowing once again. Fodder is up. So that was a GG if you got in yesterday. We had a peace check SBC as well, which is helping that fodder rise. Uh, along with that Prime Enrollments upgrade. I want to talk about all the movements that we saw today regarding that SBC and a lot of the PTG cards that have dropped off a lot in price. We have some huge price drops today, of course, with a lot of different reasons, right? Now, of course, to start off, Spain yesterday drew nil-nil with Sweden. So that's, of course, going to hurt this Marcus Llorente card, who was extinct at 1.5 million coins. He is now down towards the 1.1 range. And unlike what we saw last night with Squad Battle Supply, these cards are legit being sold off because the value, people do not want them, right? Because that upgrade may not happen as fast, so they feel like they will be, they will be worth less. Whereas last night, it was more of, hey, these cards are getting supplied and packed, and that's why their prices were going down. The same thing is happening with Acuna right now because Argentina drew just a few hours ago when that game finished, so he is down like 100,000 coins. Verratti's just dropping kind of out of nowhere. I mean, Italy, of course, they've got their one win. They've got a game coming up in two days. But a big game today as well, we'll talk about this. The Griezmann, Havertz, Navri cards all going to be very, you know, zoned in on today because we have the big France versus Germany game. A lot of people are going to be eyeing that game today. And we're going to see price movements, uh, especially like a France win. You're going to have that Griezmann card maybe go up a little bit, at least rising maybe towards game time and, and maybe after game time as well. But then Havertz and Navri, if that were to be the outcome, probably dropping and of course, vice versa if the outcome is the other way around. So again, very interesting movements as we finish off match day number one uh, today on Tuesday with a couple of games with, uh, you know, Portugal playing today as well. And then of course the France-Germany game is what a lot of people have their eyes on from today. So I want to talk about that as well as again, why this SBC is crashing the market. Now, I think I, I underestimated just how many people in this FIFA have been waiting for an icon upgrade SBC because I really did not expect when I saw the code dropped for this Primer Moments icon upgrade on Monday. It was like an hour before um, the content drop. I fired up the stream on Twitch and literally they dropped the code like right as I was firing it up. And I think we were surprised, right? Because I thought there's so many other icon packs that are in the code in the game. They didn't have to add a new one, but they went out of their way to add a brand new type of icon pack today. I don't think that we've ever had an icon pack that is specified by nationality, which makes sense right now because we're in the Euros, right? So, you know, it makes sense for them to do some of this stuff based off nation. Uh, but Brazil, Germany, or Spain. So three pretty big nations, right? Now, Brazil is obviously the one you guys want. If you did this pack and you got a Brazilian card, you're very lucky because we opened a lot of them yesterday, the videos on the channel before this one. And we got a lot of Spain, right? A lot of Pep Guardiola's, a lot of Raul's, you know, a Javi. So a lot of those icon pack pulls were not worth it, right? Because this is coming in at almost 600,000 coins to do with SBC fodder being up. But again, EA is again taking advantage of what is out in this game, and that is the 81 plus player pick that people are spamming. And again, it's a really SBC driven content week is what it seems. And when we have this 81 plus player pick out, people are even gonna start to chip away at a big SBC like this because they know they can do it for quote unquote cheaper if they're getting good pulls from that 81 plus. So uh, with that being said as well, that just makes me like uh, that to, to hold our fodder investment even longer. I know a lot of you guys have bought the SPC fodder. It is up a decent amount. This is the index 84. It rose and it stayed there, right? There's consistent demand for all the SPCs that we have out in this game right now. I'm going to continue holding. I really am because I think there's going to be more opportunities today on Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday as well, where we could see some of these cards go even higher in value. Now, 86s are up as well. They're closing in on 20,000 coins. That's a GG. But I think you saw the biggest rise today with some 84s and some 85 rated cards because 85s are 8K. 8.5k they're now up to like 11 12,000 coins and 84s were down in the low fours and a lot of them are above 6,000 coins themselves so big w if you invested in those i'm still holding um i think i'm going to wait on those a little bit longer now some of the higher tier cards too they went up today like i'm pretty sure that 90s were like down in the low 40s like i'm pretty sure i saw Mane 
was it like 41, 42K? So some of the higher tier fodder has started to rise up too because that icon pack required an 88 rated squad. Um, but again, I think again, the most efficient way to be trading right now is to be trading with the 84 to 86 fodder. The only thing is if you invested in some of those TOTS cards out of packs, those did very well today. Team of the season items uh, that were the cheapest for the rating for like 85, 86, 87 rated cards, those have really started to go up. So you can keep holding those if you want to, but it's uh, something we talked about last week too. And that has been an incredible, incredible place to invest. And if you wanted to take your money on some of those, uh, you could probably do that as well. But again, with that SBC coming out, caused a lot of market panic, right? Take a look at this Mr. Vieira, the baby version. Of course, not a uh, Brazilian, Spanish, or a German icon, but still dropping off in price in a lot today. He was down to like 670 in the weekly sell-off, went back up to 800K, and now we've had some listed tonight at like 610,000 coins. So, Again, just a lot of sell-off again on this market because people wanted to go out and do that icon upgrade at SBC, even though if you look on Footbin, and it just does not make sense for that SBC to be done by a lot of people. This, you know, a lot of the cards that you're you're gonna be packing are just not worth it, right? Unless you get the Brazil flag and you get a good Brazilian icon pack pull. Uh, the fact that there's you know icon Prime icons included, I think, is just part of an L2, right? At this stage of the game, we are in June EA Sports. I know you're trying to, like, prolong the life of this game by or whatever, uh, but it needs to be moments only from here on out. I mean, moments have been in packs for almost four months now. It needs to be just moments cards. So I do think there are some of the moments items and some of the primes that took a little bit of a hit in price today. Some of the ones that were packed more often than not, right? I saw a lot of moments Raul today. Um, and some of the lower tier icons maybe got hit with price a little bit. Now, this Momus Raul is actually up because he was 400K at his absolute lowest. He's about 445 right now, but just a lot of fluctuation on the market today. That Chan Calais card you just saw me looking at, he was 150, 145 earlier today. He's now back up to like 160, 170. And if you take a look through a lot of these special cards, Team of the Seasons uh, in the panic selling today, uh, a lot of them moved, right? Nani was down to 430, I think like maybe even 420,000 coins. He is now back up to 460, 470. I just saw him at uh, Alessandrini's right mid card was down to 180K. He's back to 205. So again, what you're seeing almost every single day is when the content comes out and there's a bit of a, 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 bit of a drop on the market, um, you're seeing these cards actually get to the lowest. Kind of during like that, um, for me, it's 3 p.m. Eastern, but that third or the later Euro game on the day, a lot of the market and a lot of people on FIFA, their eyes are taken off of that and they're, they're, they're you know, placed onto the game. So, you know, that's one thing that I would keep an eye out for today. Whatever the content is today on Tuesday, I, I wouldn't expect a huge bounce back on this market. Like, I'm, unless there's like zero content, I, you know, I really don't see a huge bounce back. Some cards might be rebounding a little bit, natural fluctuations and stuff like that from a low day. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect a huge rebound. Uh, but still, if there's a good content today, then watch the price drop offs, right? Then, uh, and Dombele was 160,000 coins flat earlier today. He's rebounded back. Barnes was like 380. Now Mukiele is a, of course, a Bundesliga right back that has been hurt majorly by the drop of the peace check. 250,000 coins dropping all the way down to 184 and currently being 190,000 coins. Um, you know, we, we were talking about watching some players with Bundesliga links that are down too, like Manuel Neuer's team of the year and team of the season items. If there's any more panic selling, again, I think those Bundesliga back lines are still very, very hype. Um, and you have some other items that would be linking to a piece check card that were pretty low today as well. Like this Lacroix was down at 420,000 coins. I think that was a decent buy as well. He originally dropped in price when the, um, uh, the Jimenez SBC dropped. Uh, so he's back up a little bit from where he was, but you know, just kind of keep an eye on some of this stuff, right? And open bids are gonna be your best friend with a lot of this stuff too, especially during when the Euro games are on. I'm gonna say this a lot over the next couple of weeks, as I already have, during the Euro games is gonna be a great time to get on the bids, right? Um, and that's gonna be something where less eyes are on the market. So undercuts, snipes, and bids are just gonna be a great place to be. So again, we talked about fodder, we talked about what kind of dropped with those SBCs. I wanna talk about the PTG cards a little bit more because these cards are just so interesting, right? And I know, I know a lot of you guys are looking to invest because with these cards, 
uh, with that live item potential. You look, look, you look back at what if cards, you look back at headliners, a lot of live items rise out of packs. So it's going to be a very popular investment to be looking to buy a few of these items. Now, one thing that helps with this is as we get towards rewards day, a lot of teams are not going to have their second games played yet or almost their second game. Um, you know, so once we get in that second game played, if once we get that second win uh, for these cards with that first upgrade coming after the third win on the next Friday, um, you know, you're probably going to see them start to rise up. So guys that are playing their second game on Wednesday, like Italy, I'm really watching this Verratti tonight. I know he's dropping off a lot. I'm not entirely sure what it is. If it's just general panic selling from the, from the day and he's just kind of you know, like catching a, a low hour with some undercutting. I'm kind of interested, right? Because these cards are still pretty rare. These cards are still pretty rare. And uh, I think the market might kick me off right now. For some reason, it's lagging EA servers. But these cards are pretty rare. Again, we checked the supply in the video last night. I bought a Foden to use in the weekend league. And I'm losing a lot of coins on him. Because the other uh, thing with these cards being rare is that the weekend league kind of ended people sold them uh, to do the icon pack today And I think still a lot of these cards were probably a little bit overpriced And I think a lot of them still are kind of overpriced But that happens very often when you have these live items, right? Like Foden at 1.3 1.4 probably a little overpriced, right? I mean some of that upgrade price of them Hopefully winning some more games is kind of already built in to what that current price tag is uh, and I think that's why you're seeing some of the price drops, right? Llorente with Spain, we're expecting a W today, right? If Spain would have won the game yesterday instead of drawing, this card would probably still be like 1.3 to 1.4 million coins. And right now he's sitting at 1.1 because, again, that's, you know, the chance of him getting upgraded just dropped a little bit, you know, depending on how many wins that Spain can get. So just kind of taking that stuff into consideration, and knowing these cards, it's going to be very, very hard to pick a optimal buy point for like all these items. It's going to be very, very hard to say, hey, right now, this is going to be the best time to buy this card. It's probably going to be like a judgment call depending on the content that drops and everything that happens in the game with rewards as well. I mean, we saw how much these guys got supplied at rewards day on Sunday. Now, the only thing is when you the price drops that you saw from like Sunday into Monday morning with the um squad battle reward supply coming on the game uh like wow this is 1.02 for Foden and again there's only one page to 1.15 is that what I'm searching 1.15 he was selling at 1.14 earlier after being down towards one mil so you know I'm gonna take a big loss on my Foden card because I did not get it out and you know that's just an error on my part because I thought that this card was going to maintain a level of hype of course with the English nationality in England playing, you know, getting that win in the first game. But of course, just seeing all the market drop off today, especially a lot of these guys in packs, it makes sense, right? You live and learn, right? We move on. So um, yeah, that's just kind of one interesting thing that I would be watching out for is I feel like the buy time specifically for a lot of these cards is going to be very specific to the actual card itself and to the individual player and the club uh, and, and the country, not even club, the country that that player plays for. So Again, today on Tuesday, what am I expecting? I think we might get another drop of one of these nation players because we've had the Uruguayan nation player. I think they might do like every couple days or every other day. We had a player SBC yesterday with the peace check, but we've had a player SBC every single day since Friday, starting with Gutza, then getting Florenzi, uh, then getting the Jimenez, then getting the peace check. So today on Tuesday, I'm expecting another player today. And I feel like it's going to be either some sort of flashback SBC or another one of these nation players, which I would really hope that they would drop. Uh, and I think they're going to stick to more of like the 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 hype, I guess, nations, if you will. Like, I don't know if we're going to get a Macedonia uh, nation player, right? I feel like maybe we, since we don't have a Portugal card that is in the actual squad, um, I mean, I guess that thinks. I, I guess that means that EA is thinking that Portugal's not going to make it out of the group if they're not giving them a special card. But I feel like we have to get some sort of special card from Portugal, whether it's a nation player SBC or a potentially we could be getting another one of these actual PTG live updating cards as an SBC as well. So again, that's kind of what's going on with the market. Again, it's a very easy time to trade, very easy time to trade with a lot of these fluctuations. Um, you know, when you have sell off like this, you're going to have rebound on some of these really rare cards. Pushkas, pretty low right now, 430,000 coins. That is down, right? That is down. We were looking at some of the icons today. 
just these rare items that get sold off. You have hype kind of, you know, moving around dependent on what nations are playing well, which nations nations are not playing too well. So again, watch that France and Germany game today too, because, you know, let's say Mbappe scores a goal, you know, you have this card that's been sold off a little bit. There might be more eyes thinking about, you know, Mbappe and FIFA. We saw this happen multiple times in the past couple of days with teams and, and countries that play well and a player that shines in that performance. Um, oftentimes their card in FIFA actually goes up a little bit because people come back from the game and they want to use that player inside the game of FIFA that they just watch play IRL. So that is kind of the vibe that I'm getting right now. Again, I'm so surprised and I guess it just makes sense though, right? There was so much hype and a lot of market drop off because of this icon upgrade SBC because this is the first icon upgrade pack that we have had since the 92 plus, um, prime pack which was in what bundesliga team of the season which was literally almost a month ago so i guess it makes sense a little bit to me that there's so much hype built up for this and since the fact that there's an even easier chance of getting a brazil icon from this uh that's going to make a lot of people wanting to go and do this and it's going to be out during rewards later this week so three days remaining it's going to be out till friday uh and that to me makes me think that uh rewards day is probably going to be a day where fodder will go up post rewards because this will be an sbc people will want to finish uh, after they open their packs and get some extra coins and stuff like that. So we'll be watching fodder, of course, throughout the week this week as well. But, you know, Tuesdays have sometimes been the hype, the peak for fodder. One thing I also think we could see is some sort of like party bag. Now, of course, that icon wasn't really a party bag. It's an icon SBC, but this is also the time of the year where they could start releasing some pack code for some party bag type packs. If uh, Pat the Glories are included in that. That would just, again, add to the hype, make some of those players drop off a little bit more. So I definitely made some coins yesterday. I'm a little motivated right now to finish the Ericsson objective. So I'm doing a little bit of that. Um, and also, you know, lazy listing my fodder, right? Look at these 84s selling at 9,000 coins a piece. Some of these 85s, which 85s like 12 to 13K right now. Some of them selling at 17,000 coins plus. You know, I've still got a lot of this stuff in my club too. So I'm just lazy listing my fodder a couple thousand coins over that cheapest mark. And it's a W, right? So, you know, will today be the absolute lowest day on the market? Will these price drops that we see or have seen be the absolute lowest for some of these cards? I have a hard time saying yes to that. I have a hard time saying yes because I still do feel like uh, there's more content that could be coming today on Tuesday uh, and that could be coming even re with rewards day with these cards being in packs that could drop a lot of them lower. Um, but also if the content for some reason would dry up, then maybe we would have seen the lowest prices, you know, kind of in this time period from uh, Monday into Tuesday uh, with all the panic selling that we did see. So I'm very interested to see what happens in the next day or so, but I think EA is going to keep bringing the hype content because they've been bringing it this week so far and, and why would they stop now, right? It just seems weird for them if they kind of would stop in the middle of doing this all. So I expect the content to continue to roll on and we're going to make coins in the midst of it and have some fun doing it. So hopefully we get some good content today on Tuesday, but I just kind of want to talk to you guys about what is going on with that whole situation. And hopefully we'll see some more price movements today on Tuesday with these PTG cards. Because again, we've got a couple matchups today. We've got the France-Germany matchup, which is a big one. And of course, we have the Portugal-Hungary matchup. So I will say one thing real quickly is that... Um, I wonder if EA is going to, you know, kind of rock on with these icon upgrades. Uh, since we had the Garincha and the Javi SBCs, which was a, of course, a Brazilian icon and a um, Spanish icon. Then we had this icon moments pack with, with Brazil and Spain included. So maybe with the next set of icon players that we see, maybe they'll do another icon moments upgrade with those nations in it. Um, but again, I feel like I don't know how many of these are going to do because if you add France, if you add England, or and if you add, I don't know who else you would add, maybe another top nine nation like Portugal, I mean, how much hype is there going to be for that? Of course, for the France nationality, it'd be a lot. Um, but I think Brazil, when it comes to icons, is the number one. I guess they could add the Netherlands in there as well. That would be something that would be pretty hype. So maybe they do Dutch, France, and like, uh, and maybe, you know, English for the next one. So maybe we'll see that kind of coincide with maybe more icon players that are dropped. And also, since we had the peace check um, yesterday as well, is that something that EA is going to be doing like with some of these players is Poland played yesterday and this peace check was actually dropped like in the same day that Poland, actually almost during the game, Poland was playing and this peace check was dropped. So 
I wonder if that's going to be something that we can continue to see as well. Like Portugal plays today. Maybe they drop a Portugal player into the game. Who knows? I know we are, we've already had Diogo. which was a Portugal player that I forgot about. But, you know, just, just thinking through some of those things. Are some of those nationality things going to be tied together? Potentially. So hopefully it's a good day of content on Tuesday. But again, I just wanted to bring in this video today talking about why the market went down. I'm, I'm a little surprised at how many people went out and did that icon moments, primer moments pack today. Um, but I think it was just the Brazilian nationality that tempted everybody to do it. So that's the little market video for today on a Tuesday. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.